Let's talk about some tech real quick. In the capacity of me doing torque converters, I ask a lot of questions about what you have and how you're going to use it so that I can give you guys something you're going to be happy with. And all too often now, I'm having people that uh, are just doing too much and everything's literally going to work worse. And I worry about even being able to make that person happy because they're going to think it's the one thing that they dealt with somebody who's supposed to know what they're doing. It's going to be my fault, even though you're the one that picked all your parts and everything like that. Um, and here's why. So lately I've had a bunch of people tell me they're going to run this Holly high rise split Ram on a stock head. This is a bad idea. Don't do this. This isn't going to work. Here's why. This intake does not belong on a stock head. The cross-sectional area of these ports is way bigger. As, of course, this is really hard to... Can you see that? Can you see how much bigger the intake manifold port is than the cylinder head port? It's on all sides and also it's not it's not really even uh this manifold first of all belongs on an aftermarket head second of all it belongs on a big motor that's going to turn rpm or a big motor or going to turn a lot of rpm it doesn't belong on your stock bottom end five three four eight six liter with a stock head so you you could just port match that head to the intake manifold except the area where this intake runner needs to be bigger in the head is not there it's all, all the work would really be done in in you know the the bowl area like in here smoothing this out to the um this uh, port right here and then right inside the runner in here. That's where most of the work needs to be done. This head does not need to be hogged out there and have a bigger runner area until you've got bigger valves and a bigger head. So this doesn't belong on a stock head. It also is too short of a runner and too big of a cross-sectional area for what 99% of you are doing and the 1% that are actually doing something. Like, I know where this is coming from. You saw the article from CID where they have better fuel, they have better air distribution, which leads to better fuel trims per cylinder, which picks up power. But that's on their head with a bunch of work on it, their manifold with a bunch of work into it, their elbow with a bunch of work of it. This is none of those things. This is gonna be worse if you're going to put a manifold on it, do something like a high ram. A high ram will pretty much just bolt right up. There's there's small, you can see that little glimmer right there. There's small areas, like this runner's probably the worst. Um, the rest of them, like this one doesn't have any overlap where you can see the cylinder head and there would be no reversion there. But the cross-sectional area of this high ram and the size of the port in relationship to the size of a stock head port is extremely close. If you are gonna make a bunch of power and turn RPM, like this is a much closer bolt-on solution or like the Edelbrock Flow Pro Flow than this is. The reason why I have this is because I wanna try it out on a not stock displacement motor on not the kind of RPM that you know, most people turn, which is like 6,000 something. And also, uh, I understand the fact that this manifold is actually going to need a lot of work to make it what it should be. There's, I mean, just there's, there's ridges right here from casting. So like this manifold actually needs a whole bunch of work to even make it equal. If you did something like this and just enlarge the runner on an aftermarket head, like, 
like this is kind of an easier path than this don't don't do this on efi on a stock head thinking it's gonna be better it's literally gonna be worse um and also everything that you say will be like oh it's a street car like i wanted to make some crazy power number but i wanted to be super drivable and i want some crazy thing and i want crazy this but i'm gonna use it in a totally mundane capacity except for when i go to the track once or twice a year or maybe i make some street pulls or whatever like i know what you're gonna do you're just gonna get on it make a bunch of noise because it's gonna make you happy like i'm down for that i'm fine with it but don't go like this is not the way even this is kind of not the way because you can make yourself just as happy th with a stock truck intake or a stock ls6 intake or like a low ram or like buy that silly ch really thin aluminum chinese welded thing that is going to make your engine sound like crap because the whole thing reverberates like that's all an easier better path than this is don't don't do this there's too many of you, many of you saying this lately to the point where i had to make a video about it because like it 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 worries me because i feel like i may be in a position where the person that i'm trying to make happy doesn't know enough information for me to be able to get the result that they're after the result that they're after is non-existent when you have somebody that expects a result that is literally not possible it worries me because it's an impossible um you know like i there isn't anything i can do to make that happen because it's not possible um, I can only do things that are possible. I'm not, I'm not like, I'm pretty good at what I do, but there's not magic to it where it's just going to work to a level beyond reasonability. This is not reasonable. This is the reason it's not reasonable. I'm not just telling you stuff to be a jerk or to stifle you or tell you no or whatever. Like I've, got the parts sitting in my shop i've thought about all the things that you're thinking about i've seen all the stuff you're thinking about and i've done a lot of it like this isn't a new high ram this is an old high ram it's got the clearance holes they changed where it used to bolt from the bottom and the top was threaded uh they changed this and now it bolts into this these are threaded and it bolts from the top they changed it that's how long i've had and i've run and tried this intake manifold uh, this I haven't run. This is a different adventure that I may get to at some other time. But, you know, the point being, you guys are not coming up with something new or creative or different. Almost everything you're doing has already been tried in some capacity. A lot of this stuff, I already know how it's going to work out because I've either done it or had somebody that's done it. So I'm, I'm telling you this ain't the way it's it's just not don't be that guy it worries me i kind of don't even want to sell you anything because i don't i just don't want those problems um make your combination make sense there's no such thing as don't bs me but i want it to make 800 wheel horsepower that's not don't bs me anymore don't bs me is 500 550 wheel you buy all those inexpensive things, you put it together, you get the result, and it's cost effective, it works good. When you step away from that, and now you need way more fuel system, way more everything, it's not that recipe anymore that you're following, you're doing something different, you need to have all the things in place to do that different something, okay? It all has to come together and make sense, and nobody's told you no or knows what you have and what you're trying to do until you come to me and you want to buy something from me and then i hear all this stuff and it's like oh man uh you'd just be happy if you did this you you've never had a turbo ls car in your life yeah great like let's let's make our goal 800 wheel horsepower a thousand wheel horsepower and just make turbo noises first if that car progresses into something else, that's fine. Or just like build the thing, 
and then sell it and then build another thing that's different in the way. But you need to get that experience first. It really helps you on the trail and on the on the road of being successful doing that. And I'm not saying that you can't make eight 800 wheel your first time. You totally can. It's just that you have to understand it. It takes different stuff to do that. Like you can't just use all the same stuff and turn it up and it's going to work. Like one instance of that, it usually is the injectors, the fuel system, the amount of fuel pumps you have. You have to have adequate fuel supply for that. It also helps if you have a cam that does that easier than just putting in like a sloppy best cam. That's not really what that cam is designed for. It will kind of do it anyways, just because the Turbo LS stuff is so great. But like when it comes to this specifically, because this is where I see kind of the biggest problem, like that manifold does not belong on a stock head. If you're gonna do anything, at least this is better, like a high ram. But like, just throw a stock intake manifold on it and get the thing running and enjoy it first. If you want to put a different intake manifold on it later, fine, do that later. Like, you're not spending money twice if you already have the intake manifold that came on the motor that you're putting in. You, you're doing too much. Just let's let's not do that. All right try to get the thing running and make yourself happy and enjoy it first before you go changing the equation and make it making it harder on you financially time wise and result like this is not going to work okay let's just stop this foolishness